younger age. So uh, what is the best and worst things about being uh, a nurse? Best worst thing about being a nurse? Or about being a black nurse in specific? A black nurse. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so uh, being a nurse, um, is that's the best thing that ever happened to me mm-hmm. because I have a caring heart and being a nurse, I can do more than just being on the side. Yeah. I can directly take care of people needs and help them to stay well mm-hmm. or get better. Um, being a black nurse, it has you has your struggles, but you learn to um, overcome them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the environment, whether it be racist and stuff like that, you do have your struggles. But mm-hmm. what's good, um, if you can save yourself yeah. um, as you get your education and knowing that um, what you have can't be taken away from you. Right. You have to learn, how, okay, just step over certain things and keep going because you're still going with your education. Right. And a lot of what you're doing as a nurse, some other people can't do it. So mm-hmm. um, you have to know that and, and um, you know, keep going. So I have come across... Um, things uh, that, that, you know, um, let you stop the thing. But then, as I said, you have to try to save yourself. I've gone through um, patients refusing me as a black nurse. You know, yeah. I've had patients um, saying, okay, I'm going to sign myself out if I, you know, yeah. if I'm getting this, you know, a black nurse tonight. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I have one who has, you know, the, the supervisor says, okay, I'll bring the paper, come, you know, mm-hmm. and they do sign out, you know. Mm. Um, and I have had a patient one night that came to the emergency room and when I went in to interview, mm-hmm. um, to interview him, to admit him, I says, what brought you to the hospital tonight? And he says, because I didn't like the nurse I was getting at the nursing home tonight. Mm. So and that nurse was a black nurse. Was a black lady. And this says, you know. Yeah. So you know, are you? I, I'm all you have tonight. So you know, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna stay? Or are you gonna go back? Yeah. Said I'll stay. Yeah. You know. But at the end of the shift, you know, my supervisor walk around and he says, you know, you have the best nurse at the hospital. <laughs> yeah. So you know, um, you know, you. you that even out, so yeah. you know it's 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 okay, and and a lot of it is ignorance. So you you yeah. know, um, it, it it's it's all right. Yeah. Um, I'm friend with you know I like I love everybody. You yeah. know what I mean. So it's like I don't look on color, and I um, it's like it doesn't matter to me. You know, if you're black and white, you know, Caucasian or you know African yeah. America. I, I just see you as person. Yeah. And that's how I grew you guys up, just to see people as they are and not... Yeah, because everyone's human. You have to... You're a nurse. You have a job to do. Yeah. You save lives, what you do. So whoever comes in, is how you got to do it. Same with me as a teacher. Yeah. Students come in. They, some of them, some of them are, have learned racist behaviors. And um, But regards, they're my student. I'm not in control of who comes into my classroom and I treat them all as, you know, as if they were my kids that I was trying to raise and teach and I try to give them all equal education. I do lean more, of course, to my black students to, 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 cause I have an understanding of them and I went through the same exact process of what they went through in the public school as far as, you know, being, you know, me not being as smart and failing, you know, the state test and then getting put into special ed type of classes and, uh, you know, things of that nature. So I, I lean more towards them because I understand what they're actually going through. Um, 
But yeah, you know, you just have a job. Doesn't matter what the race is. You still gotta, you still gotta do your job. You know, and that's what God bless you. God bless you with his talent and skill, and it's not to bless you with a talent and skill to serve one kind. So, so uh, he blesses you to serve all. So um, I appreciate you for you know always having that mindset what you do because there's certain people or nurses who are in power. When you're in power of lives and you serve a community, certain, some people do only serve their kind and their, you know, uh, they don't really do for all as a public servant or people who work for the community should. And it's, so. it's very rewarding as a, a good part of a nurse and it's very rewarding. Like I do my shift straight, six yeah. nights straight, mm -hmm. and I could get an, a, a post-op patient in really bad condition mm -hmm. today and seeing the improvement as we go along, I get to see them come into work, you know, daily. Yeah. see the improvement that is so rewarding mm -hmm. you can't pay me enough to see a patient getting well yeah for it, sure it, i don't I, it's like so i go to work and i don't complain about the pay mm -hmm. because it's more rewarding i'm not there for the pay yeah, yeah. mind you i need to pay my bills yeah of course but it's more rewarding seeing the patients getting better yeah than what you can pay me yeah that's the, that's the idea i think any anybody who serves who works for government, works for hospitals, work for schools, the the action, the actions and the duties of the job is what makes them keep going back. Because you can't say it's because they don't pay nurses enough to save a lot. Like you can't pay a doctor or a nurse or anyone in the medical field enough to say, you know, this is equipped. Because you save lives. You save lives mentally, physically, and all that. Nature. So you can't say, you gotta, y'all all should be millionaires because you're actually saving a body, right? As well as educators, we teach, we educate. You can't pay us enough for building the future leaders and the future people. So anyone that serves the government, not like anything that serves community and serves people, you'll never be able to pay them enough. You have to be, it has to be in you to want to do it because it's, it's never going to be enough. Like it's never enough to, the amount of things, because you, you're never just doing what's on paper. As a nurse, like if they say, hey, you're going to be doing X, Y, Z. You never just doing that. You're doing more and above because you ha you don't know what type of kind of patients you're gonna have um, that come in. The same as teachers, it's never X Y Z. You don't know. You're, you're playing. You're you're teaching, but you're also babysitting. You're also a counselor. You're also a psych. You do everything at that point in time in the classroom because you're taking care of actual kids uh, and that are not yours. At, at that, and you have to learn from them. But um, um.